New episode of Spoon Stuff Story out now, go watch! Scientists have discovered that- Uh oh, it looks like Matt Powell is about to tell us what scientists have discovered in a video about Adam and Eve apparently. So you know what that means, either blatant straw manning that is absolutely not what they said, or presenting what they said as if it's some farcical nonsense, although how anything is nonsensical when compared to a religion based entirely on the lie of a teenage mother that got a little bit out of hand is beyond me. One of our earliest ancestors was a jellyfish. Ah, so that's the way it is. Okay, I mean, play all the clown music you want, play all the Spongebob clips you want, but the idea that if life came from simple, single-celled organisms, that at some point a jellyfish-like creature could have been somewhere in the chain hardly seems like much of a leap. I mean, you would take literally any point in the chain and present it as if it's stupid, but Matt, if this is accurate to what has been said, do you think whoever said that came to the conclusion based on absolutely nothing, or that it's because there is some evidence to suggest that? Oh shit, right, evidence! I'm pretty sure he doesn't believe you should have proof to believe things. Just a book and a willingness to lie to people about science, aka creationism. Ah, oh, the thing you're referencing isn't even being that specific, for God's sake, Matt. Why do you even show things if you're just going to lie about them? All oh, right, because your audience, much like you, isn't really interested in being accurate or correct. Just being able to talk smack about the ideas that they find scary and what have you. Anyway. This is simply talking about one of the older ancestors of animals in general. And to be fair, humans are animals, so that kind of makes sense. But then you don't even think humans are animals because you don't understand categories. So what difference does it actually make to you? Also, also, this is a creature that existed before the Cambrian explosion. A thing that idiots think proves all sorts of stupid shit, including that that's where God did all the life on earth, but no, obviously not. The Bible tells us we all descended from two people. Well, then the Bible is wrong. Funny that, and it's a good reason to say, wait a second, maybe this big book of true facts isn't actually a big book of true facts. If it gets that wrong, maybe it's wrong about other things and oh no, religious death spiral and an atheist is born. That's why Matty here has to go, no, the Bible isn't wrong, reality is wrong. And anything that proves the Bible wrong must be super mecha Hitler Satan trying to start the new world order. And only those in my church can be saved from that. By the way, did I mention that we're not a cult? And just common sense will tell you. Ugh, if I had the opportunity to delete any phrases from the collective minds of everyone on Earth, it would be the concept of common sense. I hate it so much. Not only is common sense not common or sense, but it's hardly ever even the same thing to so many different people. Because what seems like it should be common sense to me will be something you barely have the ability to grasp, and what is common sense to you will be ludicrous nonsense that everyone on the planet besides the morons who agree with you will know is obviously being spouted by an idiot. That if humans are producing humans and you go back far enough in time, then you get whatever it was before humans were a thing, and instead humans, common ancestors, and a shit ton of them too. Because I have a basic science education and have never been beamed in the noggin by a collapsing building or whatever other extremely heavy object simply must have fallen on you to cause this staggering level of incompetence. You get two initial ancestors that brought into existence the population that we see. No, what the f*** are you talking about? We already know that's not how populations grow, at least not in humans. If you only have two humans and they keep, what did Ken Ham call it, marrying each other's brains out, eventually the gene pool will be spread more thin than the brain cells at a creation convention. Meaning that those humans will be unable to sustain a population and within almost no generations flat will get wiped out. And let's say that genetic flaws aren't an issue. 
Well, you would also have what I'm going to call the banana problem. That is to say, without a diverse gene pool, if some disease comes along that you don't have protection for, then no one does, and you all immediately get wiped out. Just like how, because most bananas are effectively clones of each other, diseases go absolutely hog wild, crazy fast through banana plantations, because there's just nothing to slow it down. And so don't let people fool you. Yep, don't let Matt fool you into thinking he's not a liar and an idiot and someone who is literally incapable of ever listening to the things he's told, or just plain choosing to ignore it all, even though he has been corrected more times than possibly any human being alive because of how much wrong shit he says constantly. But you should let me fool you into giving me all your whiskey. But that's only because it's, uh, deadly instant poison. Yes, you'll die immediately if you drink it, so give it to me. I'll get rid of it for you. Into thinking that it's irrational to believe that our ancestors were humans. Humans' ancestors were humans. What are you talking about? The only difference is that it is irrational to think that considering that evolution is a real thing that happens, that if you go back far enough, while all the other animals are evolving around us, humans are never changing for no reason other than how special Matt Powell thinks he is. And that is the real meaning of Christmas or something asinine like that. It's surprising that I even have to say that, but... Only surprising to those who don't know that you are missing out or just outright denying a fact about reality. If you know that's what he's doing, then it's not surprising at all. Well, first it's hilarious, and then it's infuriating, and then it's disheartening, and then it loops all the way back round to past hilarious again, right into drinking, because it's the only way I can cope. That's the world we live in. We live in a world of irrationality. You do. You live in a world of irrationality. One where you constantly reject the science, the things, where people actually put in countless hours of work and try their very best to figure out how the world works and where things come from in an attempt to make the world a more knowledgeable place. And you come along and say, I don't like that. It makes my previously held beliefs sound really dumb. And I would rather continue being ignorant than to ever admit that this is exactly what I am. Projection, thy name is Matthew Powlington. Of scientific illiteracy. Holy shit, irony police. Fucking shoot this man out of a cannon into the sun, please. Because fuck me. You sitting there telling everyone else they are scientifically illiterate is about the richest fucking thing I've ever heard. The audacity of this absolute brainlet to sit there and pretend he gives a shit about science and that people understand it properly. You can see why I have to drink. Where did I put my small bottle? Ah. And we need to bring scientific fact to the table and tell people Look at my book! It's um, the science! Forgetting the fact that it is constantly wildly wrong about things that today we understand quite well. And that the people who think that it is literally correct about everything are some of the least competent individuals about anything that the Bible touches upon. And frankly, a lot of the time, the things it even doesn't. God created this world. That's not science. Even if it's true, there's nothing in science that demonstrates that. So right here, right now, even if 100% fact, to state it as if it is a fact and you know, is unscientific because you didn't come to that conclusion based on facts and evidence, but rather because it makes your pee pee hard or whatever other reason it is. The creationists are so very into the Bible. I mean, it has to be a sex thing, right? Come on. We know for a fact that it must have happened in the way that the Bible describes. But it doesn't? What are you talking about? There's nothing in the Bible in regards to science that is even close to our understandings of basically fucking anything today. And even the things it kind of sort of vaguely gets right are so much more complicated, and yet the all-knowing God didn't feel the need to bring any of that extra shit up. In fact, he seemed to know about as much as the people of the time did about any given subject. Almost as if it came entirely from their brains and nothing else. Hum de hum. Because humans produce humans. And the moment that people stop believing that, they will be fucking creationists who believe that humans come from freaking dust. That's the thing though, mate. You think that we don't say humans produce humans, but of course we do. Because of course they do. The idea that a human would produce anything but a human is patently ridiculous. And only something that someone who doesn't understand what evolution is and what it says 
would ever say about it. This is the moment where they start believing in science fiction and that life on this planet descended from single-celled organisms that came alive on rocks. What are you talking about? Apart from being a really weird straw man, I mean, on rocks? What, what does that mean? But yeah, life started as single-celled organisms. That's, that's how it would have had to happen. Unless it was actually science fiction and there was some agent that put it there and also all the effects we observed that show that evolution happened. Nope, they don't actually count because this same agent actually makes it so that stuff can't happen for some reason. Do you have any proof for that agent? Yep, you see those guys out in the middle of fucking nowhere that think that people can get pregnant from ghosts? Well, everything they say must be true. You're a fucking idiot, Matt. I mean, it is just bizarre. I know that you are able to sit there and talk and talk and talk and not flood that entire building with your endless streams of bullshit. There must be an amazing pump going off constantly somewhere where the camera's not pointed to get all that shit out there. It must cost a fortune to run whenever you decide to speak. Ah, is that why he's always in the woods? Imagine if you had a world where you have millions of years of rainfall, like Darwinism teaches. Um, I don't think that's what Darwinism teaches. I mean, no one believes in Darwinism now specifically anyway, since he got a fair amount of shit wrong, but he also got enough right to still have been an impressive chap for the time. But oh God, I think I've just realized what he's going to do here and it's going to be super smart and make us all Bible shagging Christians overnight, obviously and that single-celled organisms were starting to come alive in this existence, what would they eat? Oh, I thought you were going to be like, if there was all that rain, where would it go? If evolution is true, we should all be drowning. Like some shitty news report from the 90s. I seriously do expect so little of you that, frankly, I'm a little confused that you actually asked what is kind of a good question. Like, wow, that's actually something relatively interesting and I want to be impressed. But I say want because the problem is that no matter how good an answer you get, you're going to completely ignore it and keep asking the question as if no one can answer it. Because listening is just not something you are even capable of. How would these single-celled organisms survive without any organic material? Well, for one, E is not actually super accurate, but let's just say that they would more than likely metabolize hydrogen sulfide and carbon monoxide until eventually photosynthetic bacteria evolved and would use sunlight to build sugars from carbon dioxide and water. That shit took me two seconds to look up, you silly, silly twat. Come on. What are they going to eat? Hard rock? Because <laughs> that's the thing, you don't need organisms in order to consume things. Like, if they are made from the building blocks that are around them, then they would just need more of those building blocks. It's not actually that complicated. The fact that you didn't even try to come up with an answer, the fact that you just automatically jump to, it must be impossible, because otherwise I'm a big dumb. I mean, for fuck's sake, there are all sorts of micro bugs in the world today that eat all sorts of non-organic shit today. Seriously, it's like you don't even want to know the answer. Oh, right, yeah, of course you don't. The baseless assertions and the conjecture that is Darwinism is a lie. Look, we both know you are talking about evolutionary biology. You only call it Darwinism because then you can go, see, he am your messiah, or some stupid shit like that. When you know that's simply not true, and that while he did have an important role in kickstarting to where we have gotten to today, for some reason, he hasn't actually added anything in quite some time. That lazy bastard. What? Dead? Oh, that would make sense. But it's hardly an excuse. There is no God. You are a monkey. Um, okay, Aaron Ra using a bit of hyperbole there. I don't have much to say about that. He's trying to make a point. It could have been done better, but it's not what evolution teaches. So who cares what an individual says? Why are there still monkeys? Well, because we're not monkeys. We're fish. Oh my God, dude, seriously. This is not the science. This is a 
fucking TED talk. Again, someone trying to make a point, but one that isn't the science. Just trying to get an idea across. It's individuals discussing ideas. That's never what the science is. We don't base our understanding of the universe on what singular people say about it. You would know that if, well, fuck, you should know that and stop being ignorant and start actually engaging you duplicitous little shit. My friend. Ah, funny as shit anyone has said this whole video. Oh, wait. Do not be tricked into thinking. And followed by the most honest you have been. That's right, creationists. Do not be tricked into thinking. Otherwise, you might start to notice that a literal interpretation of the Bible is fucking stupid and makes you sound like a bunch of morons. But you wouldn't want that. You want the blissful, ignorant stuff you have heard so much about. It sounds so much easier than having to actually fucking learn anything. That your ancestor was a jellyfish. Just take a moment and consider the, the sources of your information. Considering that you are showing things that aren't like a textbooks, then I don't know what you want from me. I don't get my science from randos on the internet. I actually, and this will blow your mind, read actual scholarly sources. And every last one of them says that you, Matt Powell, are full of shit. And I mean that literally. If you don't believe me, I guess you're just going to go and have to actually read a lot of them, aren't you? Look, if it gets him to read one thing that's not the Bible, I'm going to call that a win. Don't be gullible. Don't be someone that'll just believe everything that you hear. The Bible says the simple believeth every word. The sheer catastrophic irony that you would tell people to not just believe, to not be gullible, and then be like, unless it's what I say about my book, though. Fucking typical. Wait, before you go, I have something super important to tell you. It's life or death. It will change everything forever. Nope. Wait, it's gone. Oh well, probably wasn't important. But while I have you, don't forget to comment, subscribe and notify. And if you want more of my smexy voice, check out Mrs. Six's channel Spoonstar Stories, where I narrate and voice all the videos. And she does the work. And if you want to support the channel, check out the merch store for cool t-shirts, or check out Patreon, memberships and PayPal to support directly. Finally, follow me on the medias of social to get completely pointless guff and to keep up on the latest releases. Oh, I just remembered what I was going to tell you. Whatever you do, don't touch the-